Oh my god, it's gonna be another one of these videos, isn't it? Before I get started, um, I actually did record all this, like, in one take. I it felt pretty good, but then, my audio wasn't recording whatsoever. I wanted to kill myself so badly. <laughs> Anyways, hello, so this is gonna be another one of those discussion videos where I just rant about this game that I hate so much, and I did find out that it was actually made for people who didn't know how to play Sonic games. So it's like, uh, hear me out. Don't do that ever again. We want actually good content. And I am actually afraid for the next Sonic game for so many reasons. And I just want to make this video to declare what Sonic Forces did wrong. And, and probably going to be late, like very later on in the video, like what they can do right. You know, but that's not going to happen until a long time because there's so many points to cover. That everyone already knows. So I'm keeping them short, brief, hopefully get to the, you know, what they can do better part pretty soon. And let's get started. So, point number one. They made Tales of Wuss. So, you know, a lot of people, like, complained, I think, you know, that, like, Tales was, like, big, too big of a wussy to, like, take on, you know, perfect, cha no, Chaos Zero, <laughs> not Perfect Chaos, no, that, no, yeah, Tales could not, you know, take on Perfect Chaos, for sure. But he couldn't even take on Chaos Zero, but then he took on Chaos 4 and Sonic Adventure. Sega, fire, like, the people who thought it was a good idea to, like, make Tales of Us because that's not happening. Well, yeah, uh, I don't care how many avatars you got alongside Sonic. Just, Tails like, was debuted in Sonic 2 as a sidekick, and I would like to see him as a sidekick for Sonic, helping him out whenever needed, you know, at least do something besides, like, cower, like, in, like, behind a corner yelling for Sonic as if he'll magically appear somewhere. And, um, oh yeah, point number two, the storytelling is pretty garbage. And I'm, I might be quoting some other videos here because I usually, like, repeat whatever people say a lot, but anyways, hear me out. Like, okay, for, for one, uh, Green Hill was Sand Hill even before they went to go to the world. Um, you know, they said Tails has lost it, but then he's perfectly fine, just a little scared little wuss. Even though he wasn't uh, already, just made more of a wuss, he didn't lose it, he was just a bigger baby than ever. Um, you know, there was um, many points in the, in the storytelling where there were, like, the people were going to do something with India, but then they merely back out on it, like, hey, April Fools! <sighs> Don't do that no more. Especially with the, you know, the next game is selling. So the third one is Keep the Avatar. I loved Avatar. Everyone loved it. Not because I'm a fanboy or something. That's because I am. <laughs> Probably the total reason behind me wanting the Avatar in future Sonic games, but it's just a neat concept. I would like to see in a, okay, like, okay, the Avatar is basically just a Sonic Echo, but weaker. Doesn't have a boost, has a slower home attack, and just mainly relies on weapons. And sometimes a grappling hook. So, because, can we just make that a gameplay item? Like, the were the, the Werehog, like, you know, in Sonic Unleashed. Like, you can, like, grab onto ledges and whatnot, you know? And swing from stuff, sometimes. Maybe, y y you know, the grappling hook will become a, like, um... A gameplay item itself, and before you go typing away in the comments, oh, there actually is grab hook segments. Remember that? Yeah, I know. That that is automatic. It doesn't require like half the time it's automatic. Half the time, you, you know, it just does it automatically. No, I would like to see, like ha have it so like if you press a button, the grapple hook will shoot. You know, and like you have the choice if you want to use grapple hook or not to either drift around seg segments like some of the automatic stuff you know in the game you could use it to swing from poles and whatnot and use that momentum to carry you over to other ledges and whatnot you know just have the player more in control uh, over the main mechanics you give the character and just make the avatar don't like the wire attack it maybe it should be somewhat of a quick time event to make it more interactable you know like, I think the wire attack is too bland, honestly. 
it's just an echo of a homing attack or just get rid of the wire attack entirely just mainly just use the weapons and what and whatnot and yeah I would like to see the avatar return in other games it, it's a really neat concept and I just love how like you know you're tackling in the game anyways next up um <sighs> just make the levels longer and don't make them to the point where like it like even babies can do it because like seriously this game is three hours long three bloody hours and wonder how long usual Sonic games last more than three because I've been playing Sonic Lost World and yes there is the uh, conditions where you're gonna have a certain amount of flickies to complete the game and all that but that's not the reason why it took me more than three hours to complete it's because like most stages are actually hard they're long they're fun and enjoyable and they're challenging while Sonic Forces is, is just like baby proofing everything they're, they're like doing a, a, they're baby proofing like everything in your mum like that's that that's how baby fight the game is I know I'm saying that like a lot but you know you know but it's true this game, like, pro uh, probably wasn't even meant for, like, long-time Sonic fans. They were probably meant for babies, because that's what it feels like. So, see, even my my nephew, who is, like, really bad at video games, can at least complete half the game. Like, like ha half the game. Like, that's how easy it is. Like, my grandson was... No, my nephew, but not my grandson. Back in my day! <laughs> no, okay. <clears throat> yeah, my nephew... Um, yeah, he was able to at least complete half the game. Now, he couldn't, like, get past the uh, hardest stages, but, like, I, you know, it, this game really isn't actually meant for babies, but it's what it feels like. Even, like, my nephew is really bad at video games, could complete, you know, Sonic Forces halfway at least before, you know, getting stuck on something. Yeah. Just Sega. Like, we waited, like, at least three years after Sonic Lost World's release. Probably, I don't know. Some back in the comments. Like we wait like three years for another game, not including any spin-offs, by the way, just mainline Sonic games. We haven't had one in like three years. And whoop de doo, the next one we got was three hours long. I see what you did there, Sega. And yeah, not worth the wait. And like, Sonic Mania was like the best like thing in the the I think Sonic Mania is the best game of the decade um you know best Sonic game of the decade no a lot of others can easily top Sonic Mania obviously but like yeah all right so my next point wait no I don't have any more points actually hmm, that was quick all right so those are a lot of bad things already so let's get into the reason the, the things that Sega could fix in the next Sonic game and potentially add. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I know Sonic Forces isn't like Sonic Dream, like Adventure Dreams Edition on Dreams, but I'm just using this game as an example of what Sega could possibly do. Now, this one, like, obviously is inspired by Unleash a, a little bit. They don't actually have to, like, do that or anything. But, okay, in Sonic Adventure Dreams Edition, there's, like, apparently, like, two play styles, like, Adventure and Modern, I believe. It's been a while, I haven't really, I don't know. But, yeah, um, there's, like, two play styles, and, like, and just because there's, like, having two play styles doesn't mean they're not, they can't pull tricks of their own. Like, they, like, in the Adventure play style, they still have, like, the balance of whatnot, the stomp abilities, you know? And the spin dash acts like a slower uh, boost. Now that might not seem like you know it, it's that good, cause like it's like the Sonic Forces is um, boost. You know, I can compare that to Sonic Forces is boost, but it at least it's something different. Or just make Sonic's gameplay based around like momentum and platform again, like the S Adventure series and maybe the you know, Genesis games. I know those were, like, you know, 16-bit and whatnot. 
or no, a bit, not 16. I don't, I don't know what, what bits on a Genesis, but at least like try and do something different from Mars Sonic, because like, if you ask me, like, like you know, Mars Sonic has been around for like more than a decade, and now Sonic Glass World doesn't count. Probably, I mean, they still use Martin. Or no, oh. yeah, they still use Martin Sonic for classic Sonic gameplay and whatnot. I guess that counts. But like, maybe at least add some new abilities, you know, to like freshen up the game a little bit. At least, and like, I just don't want to, or at least just um, you know. <sighs> make levels based around boost and fast gameplay and whatnot because like so like Sonic Unleashed and Generations they both have like the boost mechanic in them but they use them in really cool ways like um actually I can't think of anything right off the spot because it's been a while since I played those two games but they both incorporate like the, like the boost in clever ways you know not just using it to get the goal faster but using it at like they they use it as you know, it's, as a finer way to okay I'm not doing too good on this I'm sorry but like it's hard to explain for me because I'm not I'm I'm not using a script right now I'm obviously just like speaking in my microphone you know speaking from my brain but like they take like they're mostly fast paced and whatnot Sonic Forces isn't even that you just walk in a straight line you know and that's all you do the levels are linear. And the clip right here, like the uh, Sonic Dreams Adventure Dream, Dream Position, <laughs> it's not uh, like it is dynamic. It um goes like all around the place. It whatnot. It you know right now it goes underwater. Y you know that's really fun. It's it, it it's 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 fun to play. You know, and I Sega, like I don't think Sega is trying their bet best. You know. And they should like fire everybody that made the game bad, and just you know hire professionals because obviously they hired interns or teenagers who just really wanted to like show off their passion projects they've been uh, working on in the sixth grade. That's actually my uh, first actual remember, smart mark, but you know that's pretty pretty good if you ask me. And for my games, um, yeah, they're not too good. They're not really, they're comparable to Sonic Forces, but that is just me. A whole team made Sonic Forces. I can make levels up to two minutes. It takes three to do that. So, like, if I can make Sonic Forces comparable levels, like, just as good as a, a whole dev team, then yeah they got a problem because like I mean yeah I know I might be really good at that stuff and other people might not be but like I've seen a lot of people do a lot better of course so I I'm not saying I'm like the best or anything like that but like I'm just saying like if uh, if like four people can like make a game like Sonic Dreams it, it, pfft, I keep mixing up dang it Sonic Adventure Dreams Edition, then a whole dev team can do better. But no, Sega probably just doesn't want to try it. They just want the cash monies. And that's just... That, that's everything I had to say here. Sorry that this video was a little unprofessional and whatnot. I hope you guys enjoyed. And Sega, Sega, take what I said and just try to incorporate in the 30, 35th anniversary. Or I don't... I forgot what the numbers were, but like... Just don't disappoint us, fans. It, it, the next Sonic game is a total disaster and not even worth the wait. I'm just not gonna, just I'm not I'm not gonna have any faith in Sega no more. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and whatnot.